welcome back to my craft room if you're new to my craft room then welcome today i just wanted to share with you i have a small haul here that i got from the goodwill just mainly things that i wanted to get to um do some decoupage on because i have like i keep telling you guys i have so many napkins i have like a giant tub of napkins that i've got over the years and people have sent me and i just i just have so many and i really want to get to using some of them so I found some really cool things. I'm trying to do different things here. <laughs> things that I've never decoupaged on before. But you know what? You can pretty much do it on anything. But anyway, first, let me show you what I picked up. I picked up this glass pumpkin. Um, these have been around for a long time. This was, what, $4.99 I picked it up. I remember years and years and years ago, it used to be like a thing you could get at Dunkin' Donuts at holiday time. It was like a special thing they had one year. But then I've seen these in stores. This doesn't have any kind of markings on it, so I'm not sure where this one came from. But we are going to decoupage this one up in the future here. Not in this video, but I do have one thing I'm going to show you here that I am going to do in this video. Um, and then I picked up these containers here. They had a whole bunch of these. I mean, there is so much stuff there, especially glassware and things like that. So I picked up two of these. These were $1.99. Um, and I like these because I want to actually do the decoupage on the inside and my hand fits in here good. And I like the, you know, it's like this nice square size here. And it has this little, like, raffia, or, I think. And I'm going to take that off and replace that with something else. But these are another future, future things. And then the one thing I was so excited to find, which most people probably wouldn't be, I found this clock. Now, I was raised with my great-grandparents. Great and they had this clock, it's probably not the exact same clock, but this clock, these clocks were made, this is a United self-starting, it says, is what it says in the thing here. And these were made between the 40s and 50s, 1950s, 1940s, and behind here is a little light bulb, and there's a switch on the back that turns on the little fireplace and I just loved this thing when I was a kid I just saw this there and oh my goodness the memories it brought back so this was $4.99 because it's as is because somebody cut the cord off but that's okay we'll figure that out I'm gonna take the back off of it one of these days and um, figure out how we can fix this or I'll get someone else that knows what they're doing to fix it if you know it looks too difficult but um, we'll just look it up and figure it out um, yeah, United Clock Corporation in Brooklyn, New York. So I looked all this up, and they were, yeah, made, like, in the 40s and 50s. This is model number 419, and it has a 10-watt little light bulb in there. And I, it has, like, the original light bulb in there. I can't show you guys. I did try to move this thing, and I scratched it. But there's a little screw down here where you can take that off. But I was so excited to find this. Anywho, it's just going to go up on my shelf, even if I don't ever get it repaired. I don't care. I'm going to put it up on the shelf by my great-grandparents' picture, and there you go. All right, now this basket, I was so excited to find this. I had to look this up because I had no idea what this was for. It has this big hole in the bottom. Um, it's a really nice made basket, and it has a faux leather. These are all faux leather because I did look all these things up and find them. Um, and they're actually to put, like, your garbage bags in and then pull them out the bottom. I'm not going to use it for that. I actually want to decorate this up. I want to use this for Christmas time. And I want to use it with some pretty flowers inside and hang this up like that. And I think that'll be nice. How much was this? This was $2.99. But these are all like handmade. They're all nailed and everything. But you know what? They're not like worth a lot. They're not rare or not anything like that. But I just thought this was cool. I've never tried to decoupage on this type of a um, basket. I have done the other tighter weave baskets. But... We're going to see. I want to try and do it, and I have it envisioned in my brain because I want to use these napkins. I've been holding on to these now for a couple of years, and I think this would be so cute to put on here. And then I figured I'm just going to cut out some of these um, little holly berries and things and maybe put some of them down here. And I'm only going to do this part of it here. So I'm actually going to tape this off. This part here, I kind of think I want to make it like a burgundy color. Um, but this part down here, I'm actually going to spray with this satin, um, what color is this? Heirloom White. Um, it's like, it's actually a lot brighter than it looks like on this can even. But I love this stuff. It covers great. The last one I did, I only needed like a coat on there. 
and um, I didn't want to do white white this does have a very white background on the napkin but I'm hoping it's gonna blend in if I kind of do the with the water brush and kind of tear it along the edges so that's what we're gonna do with this so the first thing I've got to do with this is cover up all of this part here. Let me take off my price tag because I don't need that on there. They had so many cool things. They had these giant end tables that they were trying to get rid of. They were a dollar for these really big, I mean, if people are into, you know, woodworking and stuff, stuff like that is such a great find. All right, anyway, I'm just going to take some regular old masking tape here. This is very old masking tape, so I'm hoping this is even going to work. Um, we're going to go around here with the masking tape. I'm just going to show you a little bit. I'll finish this off camera. I just want to cover up that um, little divide there, the way that weave changes to this smaller. Because um, I want to paint that. Even if I get a little bit of paint on there, I'm not too worried because I'm going to paint it. I just don't want to get any more on the top. But um, I'm going to paint that that burgundy color. If I can find one, I think I have a nice burgundy color. What is this one? Oh, that's imperial red. I think that's too bright, too. We'll figure out. I may have to mix some paint. I don't know. I have that crim crimson red, but I don't really want it bright. Anyway, I'm just going to tape this all the way around here. Let me quit getting sidetracked. <laughs> but I'm just going to show you this front part here, and then I'll finish. Like I said, I'll finish doing this off camera. But you could use painter's tape, too. I figure I had this old um, masking tape here. May as well use that up. I am doing a lot of painting around the house. I don't want to waste my painter's seat. But anyway, I'm going to get that on there real good. And then I'm going to take a Dollar Tree grocery bag. And I just, or anyone you have. And I just cut the handles off of it. And that I am going to put on the top here. And then I am going to, I was going to try to do this at the same time as taping that on. But oh, what a pain that was. But anyway, I'm going to take that like right there above the, the masking tape all the way around. That way I don't get any of the paint in my basket. Get off of that. So that is what I'm going to do. And then just this part down here is going to have my pretty napkin. And then I think I might put some greens and stuff around the top. So let me finish getting this taped off. And I'm going to take this outside since it's a beautiful day outside. And everything's going to dry nicely for me. But that's how I'm going to protect this whole thing so I only get paint on this part. I don't know if I'm going to do the bottom or not. We'll see. Um, I probably will. Maybe that sticker off of there. Yeah, I looked these up thinking, like, oh, maybe this is like something rare. No, it's not. <laughs> but it's a really pretty basket. So let me finish taping that up. I'm going to go outside, give that a couple coats. I don't know, may only take one. I think my last one I only needed one. But we'll see. And then I will be back and show you what else we're going to do. All right, um, for a while. I'm waiting for that paint to dry for you. I'll start cutting out some of this stuff. The first thing you want to do with your napkins, please don't ask me where I got all these napkins. I have no idea. I've had them for so long. Um, some of these I know I ordered on um, Amazon. Some I got, I don't even know. It's been years. Anyway, this is a three-ply napkin, so you're going to want to take your two plies off, get it down to one ply of the napkin to work with here. And then I always keep these extra pieces to wipe my hands on. This was only a two-ply, so you only have one piece. You just take the, whoops, that one didn't come all the way off. Take the one-ply off of here. Let's see, can I get you? There we go, I got you. There. And uh, like I said, I keep that there for whatever. All right, so this is going to go right on the front of my basket. So I'm going to take a water pen. You can get these like anywhere. Um, you can get them at Dollar Tree. I think I got some of these on Amazon too. Um, or you can just use a regular paintbrush. Oh, where's my little thing? My little scraping tool. No, it's not that one. And then I use this little knife here. You could use like a plastic knife or whatever. You could do this like on a counter too. Any smooth surface. I have this glass mat here. It's from the We Are Memory Keepers. I think I got this at Michael's years ago. But um, you can use anything, as long as it's a nice, smooth surface. So then I just take my water pen, and I go around the edge here. Um, and when you do this, you just want to make sure you keep your finger covering the image. You don't want to be able to see any of it. So when you tear this away, you don't rip off anything that you don't want to. <laughs> and then, yeah, it's just that simple. Just get it wet around there. And then when you have a nice, like, ripped edge like this, it just looks so much nicer 
then if you cut it with scissors and you have a straight line, you, you know, it doesn't blend in very well. But if you have these nice rough edges like this, um, when you're done here, whoops, I keep forgetting I zoomed in here so you could see. But see how it's kind of like little jagged edges. They blend in so nice when you um, put the Mod Podge on there and put it on whatever you're, you're using. So I try to get kind of close, not real close, because hopefully this is going to blend in good. I hope, even though that paint's not white, white, but it should be fine. But like I said, just keep your finger on there and then just keep scraping away your um, excess here on the edges. You just got to get that little squeeze once in a while and get the water coming out. And that's it. So I'm going to finish cutting all these out. I'll finish this one here. I'm just going to go all the way around it like that and just cut that all off of there. And then on this one here, I just want pieces so I to put on just here and there on this thing when I'm done. So I am just going to cut some of these berries and leaves off of here um, so I can just put them on there. That'll be fun. Hopefully I don't rip them. This is a really tough napkin. What was this? This was the three-ply. So, yeah, this was a really thick napkin. But yeah, whoops, you can't see what I'm doing. Move over here. Anyway, just keeping my finger on it. Cover the image. Hopefully you can see what I was doing before. I just realized I had this so zoomed in so you could see, but I'm just going to cut out these berries. And they're kind of going to go off the edge, so it won't really matter. I don't know. I might want to use one of these flowers, too, but I don't know yet. We'll see. We're just going to cut out these berries for now. Um, and I don't want the whole thing, you know, I don't want the flower. Alright, I got that one really wet, so i got to be careful. But we're just going to cut out some of these berries and leaves. And I think that's good, because this will go like on an edge here, and then we're just going to blend these little, oops, come on, focus, little images in here, you know, around this thing. So it'll be pretty. You'll see how I'm doing these. But I'm going to cut out some more of those, and then I'll finish cutting this out. I'm not cutting it out, ripping it out, tearing it out, watering it out. I don't know what you want to call it. But anyway, <laughs> let me finish cutting some more of these out. Hopefully my basket will be dry, and then we can start putting this on. All right, you guys. I just put one coat of that, um, the, the Rust-Oleum. Uh, 2x ultra cover satin uh, heirloom white so I was gonna do two coats but I said you know what I kind of like that I can kind of see through it just a little bit and then I started doing this here I'm going to show you how I did it with the um, crimson Waverly chalk paint and I just took one of these little angle brushes and I'm not doing this perfect either because it's a wicker basket it's supposed to look older to me but it's really not that old but I just took this little angle brush and then just very carefully just went in here and just went one coat. That's all I'm doing on all these is just one coat and then that is it. So that is how I just did this real quick. I just went all the way around and there you go. Easy peasy. So I thought that would look nice. I was going to try to do like more of a burgundy like I said before but I don't think that would have looked right with this napkin because it's really a... Um, you know, really red colored napkin. So now what I did with this napkin here is I did rip a piece off of another part of it and I showed you guys this before. Do I have paint on me? Yes, I do. <laughs> of course. Keep my baby wipes handy. But anyway, what I did was I ripped off a little piece of the napkin. I put on a little bit of um, Mod Podge on here and I stuck it down and then I kind of went over it to see how many times I could get over this before this napkin started to bleed because that's a lot of red in here. So like maybe the third or fourth time I went over it with a brush that I did see some of the red starting to bleed in. So I know not to go over it more than maybe twice to, uh, to be on the safe side because I don't want red all over my basket. All right. So now we are ready to let me get some Mod Podge here. I have this matte finish. You can use whatever you want on here. I don't know if I'm going to be putting on a uh, varnish. I was going to go over it with a varnish maybe. I don't know. We'll see what it looks like when we're done. But and this is a really good varnish if you need to go over something on some of your Mod Podge. And supposedly this is food safe too. So this is a Dura 
Dura Clear Deco Art Dura Clear Ultra Matte I have here. It's a polyurethane uh, matte varnish. So that's always a good idea. But I don't know if I'm going to do this. I mean, this is just going to be hanging up on my wall. It's not like it's going to have any water around it or anything like that to worry about sealing, uh, getting wet. But anyway, I was going to try one of these little brushes from Dollar Tree because I like these. They have all the different little, just a little bristle brush. These come in a three pack at Dollar Tree in the Crafter Square section. Or you can just use one of these little chip brushes. You can get these anywhere. You can get these like at Home Depot, Walmart, anywhere. I've, I think I got this set at Walmart, three different sizes. So, but I want to try this one out, see how it is. Um, I don't know if the bristles are going to come out on me or not. But anyway, let's line up our little napkin here. A tiny bit of it's going to go underneath. But I want to try to get this centered here. I'm kind of holding it up, holding it up, holding it back. I've sat this on here a couple times trying to see. Oh, I did make that one little mark there. All right, so I'm just going to put a little bit of Mod Podge back here. And let's see how this is going to go on our really wonky basket here. Because I want to try to get them in between. I'll cut that piece off. Um, that's why I want to use this brush here, just to, to wet it a little bit to get it to go in between these little uh, slats of the basket. So I'm hoping, 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 so far so good. You just want to do a little bit at a time when you're doing with these, um, this kind of a weave on a basket, because this one's a real wide weave. The other baskets I did with a real, you know, real tight weave and it was not a problem. But I think this is going to work. <laughs> As we go here, I think it'll work. I think I can, I think I can. All right, let me get underneath this little guy here a little bit. Don't want a ton on it on the back. Let's see, let me put a little more over here. All right, let's get you down like that. And then we're gonna try to work this into these little weaves of the basket. I think this is going to look really cool. I mean, it looks really cool in my head when I had the idea, but you know, you never know. <laughs> What's in my head does not always work out. All right. And like I said, I want to go over this, but I don't want to go over it too much. Like now this one here, I don't want to do too much because now that I have it pushed down in here, I'm afraid that it will rip. So we're just going to go to the next little section here. that to go in. And it has all these different sizes of the little bristles. This really helps out instead of just having a regular flat brush. Kind of just tap these in here. Yeah, I don't want that up there, so you don't glue yourself there. We're going to peel you off. Here we go. All right, so, so far so good. So I'm going to lift this up here gently and put some Mod Podge down here to hold this down. And then I'm going to quickly go in between all those little slats. All right. And here we go. And I'm going to try to get this part first before I even get into that red. Let me see this one. I think I pulled it down. No, nope, it went in there. Want to pull it down too tight because then you won't have any give to get in between those little slats. But so far, so good. So, all right. Try to get all these edges done here, and then we will attack some of that red stuff. Some napkins they don't bleed at all. This one, this one will, you know. I'm pretty sure I got this one. I want to say I got this on Amazon. I don't know why. What makes me think I did? I don't know. I could be wrong. Like I said, some of these napkins I've had for so, so many years. All right. That little teeny piece can just get tucked right there because it actually it didn't even really go under, so that's good. All right, so let's attack some of this red and try not to go outside of the red color. But I think that's going to be good. 
I don't see too many wrinkles. I don't mind a couple of wrinkles. Everybody gets wrinkles. <laughs> I got wrinkles. Yeah, no. I'm going to need some more Mod Podge, so please don't roll over. All right, let's get a little bit more because I'm going to need it for the... Oh, jeez. You know what? <laughs> it's just my day. I'll get it back in. And that's why I love these little containers that I get at Dollar Tree in the party section um, because they have these nice sharp edges here. And when if you fill it up with too much paint, you can really easily pour it back into your container. But let me get some of this on here before this all starts to dry underneath. All right. All right. So there we go. It's going right in these basket weaves really nice. I was kind of scared. I hear a little pee out there. He's having a fit. My husband's outside doing stuff. I'm in here, so he's not happy. Oh, that itch needs to go down in there. There we go. Down you go. All right, I just want to make sure I got all these edges on here. I think we're good. I'm just gonna let this dry. It looks a little wrinkly, but sometimes it does till it dries and then it straightens out. Um, I think I got all the edges. Let me wipe that off. I don't really see any red bleeding yet, but I just wanna make sure I got all these edges that I kind of fuzzy, not fuzzy cut, but did with the water pen. All right, are we all down in these little, oh, this is gonna look so cool. It actually looks like it did in my head which doesn't always happen, but that's cool. All right, yeah, I've never done one on a weave this wide, so. All right, Oops, I think I messed up that little berry there. Well, you know, if you're too messed up, you're gonna come right off of there. There you go, look at that, it's gone. It's like it never happened. All right, I need to leave it alone now. That didn't look stuck down. Come on, stick down in there. I'm just double checking, make sure I got them all in between. Cause I kinda gotta stretch a tiny, tiny bit to get in there, but I think it's gonna look so cool. So cool. All right, now to put the little pieces on. I'm not sure where I want them. I just th figured I'd put just a couple little things here on the side. I might put one like it's coming out of the bottom. So I don't really need anything on the back. You're not gonna see that. It's gonna be hanging on a wall. So let's put a little dab of glue here to get me started. Mm, I don't want it to even come over closer. So I'm going to take one of these little leaves. This is from that other napkin. This one I did not test out, so let's hope. Alright, so it's going to go up there. Alright, let's see what happens. Too much down the edge. I love working with little pieces. It's so much easier than working with the big piece. They just go on like they were just little decals here or something. All right, they went in there nicely. So there we have some little leaves down there. And then I think the other one I'm just going to have come down from right here. And that is this bigger piece that I cut out of that other napkin. And I think where I cut it off at the berry part, I'm just going to have that up there like it was supposed to be cut off like that. Mm, maybe not. Hmm. Well, that was my thought, but it's going to be down a little bit too far. Well, let's go with it here. I think that'll be fine. I can't lay this down. I almost laid that down. Almost did it. Just got to take it easy. So I'm not ripping your napkins. it in there. That little 
little crease on that berry is driving me. Okay, there we go. I got it. All right. Yeah, I think that looks really cute on the sides there. If that's all you're going to see out of it hanging up, I could have put maybe a little bit closer or maybe something else. But you know what? That's plenty. I don't need too, too much on here. All right, so we're like about right here. We're going to put the other berries right about here. Right there, a little bit underneath. piece to go and then when this gets all nice and dry we can see how cute this is gonna be I can't wait for this to dry I may have to get out well you know what I might just take this outside it's so nice and hot there's a little bit of a breeze um, we're getting a bit of a heat wave this week in the 90s all week long yay I don't care I'm just stay in the house with the air conditioning I don't care all right let's get you on here You poor little frog dude. I knock him over all the time. Alright, I think that's good right there. It's where it's going. Tuck that underneath. Tap that down. And there you go. I am going to decorate this more for Christmas time. And I will show you guys. Um, but all my Christmas stuff is way down in my garage right now. And I can't get down there right now with this stupid illness thing I have. But, um... We'll get there towards fall. No, actually, I want to get there next month because I want to do some Christmas in July things. So I'm going to have to get myself down there and get my crates out and dig it out. All right. I think that's going to be perfect. All right. So we're going to let this guy drive. Drive. I'm not going to let anybody drive. Um, <laughs> dry. And then once this is dry, I'll come back and show you guys how this turned out. Like I said, when I get down to where my Christmas stuff is, and maybe in the Christmas in July, I'll finish this basket up more. I think I want to just put some greens or something on here, maybe some, um, like, holly berries or something. I don't want too much because I want to put Christmas flowers in here. So maybe just a bow. We'll see. I have to get down there and see what I have because, um, you know, Dollar Tree doesn't have the Christmas stuff out yet, which I thought wouldn't be surprised. It wouldn't be soon because everything else is gone. So, all right, I'm going to let this dry, and then I'll be right back. All right, everybody, this is all nice and dry now. Look how cute that went down in between all of these uh, woven parts here. I just love this. So cute. I think it looks really cute with the red here, too. Now, I was going to put some greens and stuff on it, I think, no, I'm not going to do that um, because I want to put, like I said, in the Christmas season here, I want to get some pretty flowers in here. So I think I'm just going to add this little bow. I just tied a regular bow out of some uh, Dollar Tree um, ribbon here. This is wired ribbon. I'm just going to puff these up real pretty. And I'm just going to put this on with a little hot glue. That's it. I'm trying to figure out which side I want to be in the front. I guess this side looks prettier. So, let's see here. Hopefully I get this in the center. You could wire this on too, but we're just going to go ahead and glue this on. There we go. I think that'll look good right there. Look how pretty. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Now you puff your little bow back up. I just cut little, you know, V's in the bottom of these. Folded them in half and cut them. Uh, nothing special, just a little teeny weeny bow. But there, that is my finished little project. Um, yeah, I got lots more here I want to decoupage and get done. And my birds are going to get crazy now because my husband's getting ready to mow the grass and they see the lawnmower and they go nuts. But anyway, so let's get this video done here <laughs> before they drive everybody crazy. But thanks so much for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed this video. I will put a nice picture of this at the end, and I will see you guys all next time. Have a great day, everyone.